Welcome to another Darktable tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to make changes to a single image and then apply those changes to multiple images at once. So this is like batch image editing, and it's a really powerful feature of Darktable, whether you're working with raw photos or any type of picture, really. So in this example, I have some edits that have already been applied to these leaves here. So they look a lot different than the pictures before it. But since all of these pictures were taken with the same camera, with the same lighting at the same time, roughly, we can just take this now and go to copy over here. So we have this history stack. We can expand and click copy while that image is selected. And we can copy all the modules, the effects that were being applied to it. So sharpen, exposure, there's some tone curve and color correction that happened to it. It was cropped in to be a more of like a widescreen aspect ratio. So we'll hit OK to copy all of those. And then we can select another image and go to paste. And we can just choose which of those things we want to paste. And it will paste it on. Then all of a sudden, that image looks like it as well. And we can select by holding the control key, multiple images here, and just go over here to paste. And very quickly, we can apply those changes to multiple images. So this is just a quick way um, to do that. Let me just zoom out here. Let's come down to some other pictures like these ones of me here. And I'm just going to do a quick, uh, so I did this one here. Let's, uh, let's double click. Let's just do some quick edits to show you an example of this. Maybe we wanna crop in um, a little bit. So we'll do crop and rotate. We can do that first. So we'll do this widescreen crop and rotate. If we wanted to change that, we can change the aspect ratio here to crop to any different type of uh, like a standard printed image sizes or standard image, si uh, image sizes for screens and monitors. But let's just do this one. This is widescreen right here. So I'll double click to set that. And then we can see if we're curious what's happening, we can always go back to our original and see how it looked before the changes were made. Um, let's change this a little bit here too. We can find something from these more modules. And sometimes I just like to play with these and, free, and we just click on them. We can see what some of these ones look like. Like colorize, I know is just going to, uh, oh, that's not gonna be there. Okay, we'll do color correction instead. So color correction, we just get to click this dot here and we drag it in a certain direction. And whatever color we drag it towards, it sort of adjusts the pixels to be uh, more color colorized in that color. And it's always referencing to the center, to everything being neutral. But we can move that center reference too. If we do like a green and orange type here, it's gonna make it look more like an Instagram filter a little bit. Or we can have it be more in the blue greens or some blue purples here. Um, but it's good to have, if you keep this black dot in the middle and then you just subtly move this around, you can subtly adjust the colors a little bit and we can make that look a little bit, I don't know how we want it to look. Maybe we'll make it look like that, sure. Um, let's go to uh, our color contrast and see if we can make a little adjustment there. So if this way, if we do the green versus magenta, it's definitely gonna take some of that redness out of my face, which I like. And then we can add in more, some more yellow and blue too, or take that out. So we can add in a little bit there. It's always hard. I always make things more exaggerated and extreme. But let's try and take the redness out. So that looks a little bit better there. And that was under that color contrast. And again, a lot of these I just grab, I'll just grab whatever, here's the vignette we'll do, because that's an easy one. So the vignette will apply here, and this is just going to be, kind of bring those gray, sh that, that shadow in the background a little bit. We can adjust this to kind of fit this picture a little bit more. Just kind of draws the focus more on me. <laughs> draws the focus on your subject a little bit a little bit more. Okay, so we can do that. We can see from the original, it looks like this, then over here. And um, another way that we can show the differences there too, if we just go back here, let's just get off of the vignette a little bit. Um, we can go to a snapshot. So we come up here to snapshot and we go to um, original and we go take snapshot. And what that's gonna do is give us an original here we can click on and now it brings up a line that shows us a difference between our original and our edits. Right now we're clicked on original, but if we go back to show what our edit is, we can see the difference. We see the crop, we see the colors, we see the vignetting, we see everything that's going on there and it's kind of cool. And we can also click in the center of this to rotate it. And we can um, look at it from uh, top to bottom as well. So that's kind of a cool way. Um, I like to keep this up actually so I can see 
what's happened with my original image and how my edits have been applied because sometimes you'll like more what's happening in the original um, but in this case I think it's we, we've definitely improved this photo some uh, so let's take this now and let's apply this to some other images so we go back to our light table and we see this is the one that we've done edits to this one I did earlier but if I want to clear the edits on this one I can do that also in this area under history stack I can just click on discard and hit yes and it makes it go back to how it was before but now I can click this image I can go to copy it brings up this dialog to select the parts that we want to copy the different modules I hit OK and now I can select the image or images I want to apply them to maybe I'll do it to these five all around and just go to paste and go OK and now all those five have that same sort of look so we've got the same uh, look on here and now it's a it's snapshotting relative to the picture before it um, so I can just turn off the snapshot right there and we can see what this looks like so really really cool feature um, being able to up, make edits once and apply them to multiple pictures especially if you're working in like a photo shoot uh, but also you it doesn't have to be just photos you could use this for um, like web design if you have a bunch of logos that are, they all need to be rotated at once you can really apply this feature to lots of different things um, when working with pictures and image files thanks for watching leave your questions or comments below if you have any and i'll catch you in the next video